Good morning and good afternoon wherever you may be watching this. My name is Gio and this is the submission into the Airport FAA Minecraft Challenge competition by the BASA team. Um, our airport is the Boca Raton Airport located off the southeastern coast of Florida. Alright, week one. Now into the specifications of the airport. Um, our airport contains one runway. Um, it does not have a commercial terminal and has two FBOs, um, a bunch of private hangars, um, and a U.S. Customs facility. Um, our airport in Minecraft, uh, we decided to go with a non-accurate ratio of geometry in the airport, mainly for aesthetic uh, looks. Um, this would later affect us in week four and beyond. Um, but we decided to live with this. Um, we have a one-fourth ratio in length and a one-fifth ratio in width. Alright, now on to week two, fencing and airport markings. Um, so our, our airport contains just a basic perimeter fence and it does have a few entrances um, onto the airport for emergency services, etc. We decided to um, add those on there as well. Um, our airport does have hold short markings, etc. So we added those as well on week two. Um, there are also a bunch of entrances in and around the ramp area. Um, and later on, uh, around the week four period, we also designed a uh, resource slash texture pack for Minecraft that contained the actual airport hold short and taxiway markings. Um, so that was pretty cool. On to week three, lighting in and around the airport. Um, on the runway, we decided to go with an extremely complicated system of a retractable lighting system. Um, as you know, each block in Minecraft is, is a uh, three by three foot wide block. Um, and three by three feet wide lights are not real. <laughs> so instead of going with, say, um, fixed lighting or torches, we wanted to go with a more aesthetically pleasing solution. So we added um, a retractable lighting system using the basic redstone uh, T flip-flop. Um, using this method and a lot of tedious work, uh, we made a non-fixed retractable lighting system on the runway. Um, now for the taxiways, we just decided to go with fixed, um, mainly because of how long it took for the runway. And then in and around the airport, we just added um, solar solarly detected um, lighting, so just basic um, basic street lighting. Week 4, structures in and around the airport. Um, since our airport does not contain a commercial terminal building, but only uh, two FBOs, which service aircraft, um, corporate and private, um, we decided to include all the structures on airport property, uh, marked by the Boca Raton Airport layout plan. This includes hangars, FBOs, the air traffic control tower, airport road, Spanish River Boulevard, FAU, and Lynn University buildings, Boomers, Ashley's Home Store, Palace Theaters, and more. Now for week five, innovations and growth. Um, we, dis we discussed at length about this in, cl in, in, in class and during our uh, club period. Um, we just we, we wanted to more focus on the future of drones. Um, the Uber Elevate uh, ad that you guys put on your homepage really inspired us um, to do something like that. So we included an Uber Elevate helipad area um, with a parking lot so people can park, as well as an Amazon slash UPS drone carrier facility to maintenance and service corporate delivery drones for the future. Conclusion. Um, Personally, my favorite part um, required in this entire six-week project was the teamwork required to build such a massive airport. Uh, even though it wasn't that massive in, in terms of perspective, but the amount of teamwork and effort required to build it definitely took a long time. And um, it was rather impressive, and I've always wanted to do something like this. So I, I was pretty happy when we finished. Um, and on a side note, I just wanted to, on behalf of our team, um, you know, extend a thank you to our professor, Mrs. Scalar, who really made this um, made this project and the submission happen. So, yeah. <laughs>